Mama, I I'm tired, but I don't want to go to sleep. Can I just have ice cream instead? No, honey. You know what happens when you have sugar. I get night terrors in the case of the poops. That's <laughs> right. But, but I'm not tired, and if you leave now, you're going to have problems with me developmentally. Okay, honey. How about I read you a nice Betty Bye story? How does that sound, huh? Okay, it couldn't hurt. Unlike that time I skimmed my knee at soccer practice, or, or that time Dad left a new friend, Steve, came. So do you want a written story, an original one? Well, it depends on who the author is, Mama. Not that I don't want to hear a story by you. Okay, well that's fine. How about I read you some Dr. Seuss? Oh, yeah, yeah! Okay, which one? <coughs> uh, let's see. How about Horton Cures and Pook? Oh, I think that one's Stinkies. Okay, okay, well, how about how the bridge stole Christmas? Isn't its anti-commercialistic message just a little bit too on the nose for a right before Betty buys, Mama? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I think that one's Stinky's too. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, how about the Lorax? That one is about. Yeah, it's that. evident that this post bar apocalyptic fable is about the fragility of nature, and uh, I really don't want to deal with that dumb adult stuff right before Betty time, Mom. Okay, all right. Well, what Dr. Seuss book do you want to read? Well, it's not so much a Dr. Seuss book as it is a Theodore Geisel documentary called Design for Death. It's about uh, America's unjust occupation of a uh, post-World War II Japan. Either that or because a little bug went ka-choo! That one's my favorite. Oh, that's all right. How about I just make you out the story? How does that sound? Okay. So uh, what's, what's the context of this new world you're throwing me into? My no, context, no, 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 just words. Words that are going to make you go to bed, okay? Okay, that's very roll and barthus of you, Mom. <laughs> okay, can I start you off with a word? Sure. Okay, well, it's two words. Postmodernism. <laughs> I can't wait. How about I just tell you a story about dogs instead? Okay, well, can they have silly nosies? Sure, Lori, <laughs> they can have silly nosies. Okay. Once upon a time, that seems relatively dogs. uninspired. <laughs> to the story. <laughs> and they like to be the silliest dogs and say all the silliest things in the world. Yeah, that seems like unnecessary information because I think you conveyed the silliness and the characters' all factor functions. Anyway, the cats were going down. Oh, uh, they were dogs just a minute ago, Mom? You're losing. I'm sorry, Rory. You just keep interrupting. <laughs> anyway, the dogs were going to the store and they were waiting in line. In line or online? Because in the digital age, there are certain inferences. In line, Rory. They were waiting in line and they had to wait. And wait and wait and oh, wait. Redundancy appears to be an issue in your work, Mother. And then there was a huge thunderstorm roar, and the dogs died. And then they went to heaven, and God said, Oh, well, you're dead because Roar just keeps interrupting the fucking story. <laughs> what I will say is that your finish is stronger than your start. I would read it, albeit begrudgingly. <laughs> like some ice cream, Roar? Don't you want some ice cream? Well, if you think that feeding me sugar is more important than tirelessly trying to please me, then yes, Mama, I would like some chocolate ice cream in my super cool Batman bowl. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Rory J. Stevenson always gets ice cream before bed. <laughs>